variant is bringing back the demand for COVID-19 testing, according to health experts. 2 News Oklahoma's Jeanette Cassetta uh, talked with a doctor about the testing method that they are recommending. Jeanette. Mike, there are several methods to get tested for COVID-19, but the doctor I spoke to says the reliability of each method varies. Dr. Chris Suddeth with Remedy Health Direct Primary Care says the idea with testing is to collect a good sample of the viral agent. He says it's very important for people to get tested when they're showing symptoms. Folks who are having any symptoms, even if mild symptoms, that they are getting tested and not just uh, assuming they have a sinus infection or allergies, uh, which many of our patients have assumed that uh, when in fact they've turned out to have uh, COVID-19. And so we want folks to get tested. Said it says there's antigen testing. That's where a piece of the viral particle is looked for and mixed with a solution that's applied to a small device. If the viral particle is present, it produces a small line. Dr. Suddeth says is 85% sensitive. In other words, its sensitivity is able to determine how accurately it's able to identify the COVID-19 viral agent. He says results for this type of testing can be obtained within 10 minutes. A concern that I personally have for the home tests um, is individuals getting a good enough sample uh, for that test. There's also PCR testing which Dr. Sedet says is 98% sensitive. A PCR collects the sample in the same manner. The only difference is that it runs a special genetic test. If the viral particle is present, it will be amplified thousands of times over, so that if it's present, then it will turn the test positive. Uh, that's a very, very sensitive test, perhaps the most sensitive. Uh, that is primarily done in labs. Uh, there are some facilities that can offer that testing modality uh, and even in a rapid sense. He says PCR test results can now be obtained within 20 minutes. The nasopharyngeal swab is uh, the best form of testing. It's going to be more accurate than a saliva test or an oropharyngeal swab. Now, testing sites in the Tulsa area include OSU Center for Health Sciences, OU Tulsa, the Tulsa Health Department, OU Tulsa Wayman Specialty Health Clinic, and CVS. All these require an appointment. Dr. Shedd says if you have symptoms and do go get tested, make sure you quarantine while you wait to get back your results. Live in studio, Jeanette Quesada, 2 News, Oklahoma.